we're asked to use the graph of f prime of x of the derivative function to determine the open intervals for which f of x, the original function, is increasing or decreasing. If the first derivative is positive over an interval, then the function is increasing over the interval. If the first derivative is negative over an interval, then the function is decreasing over the interval. And if the derivative is equal to zero over an interval, the function is constant over the interval. So we just need to be careful here. This is the graph of the derivative function, and they're asking us about the intervals for which the original function f of x is increasing or decreasing. Let's begin by determining where the first derivative is equal to zero, which would be the x-intercepts of the graph, which are at x equals negative four, x equals negative two, and x equals zero. Next, the first derivative is positive, where the graph is above the x-axis, and the first derivative is negative, where the graph is below the x-axis. So notice how the first derivative is positive to the left of x equals negative four, or when x is less than negative four. The derivative is also positive when x is greater than negative two and less than zero over this interval here. And also notice how the derivative is negative when x is greater than negative four and less than negative two, as well as when x is greater than zero. So we're gonna be focused on the x-axis. To the right, we approach positive infinity, and to the left, we approach negative infinity. Working our way from left to right, when x is less than negative four, the first derivative is positive. When x is between negative four and negative two, the first derivative is negative. When x is between negative two and zero, the first derivative is positive. And when x is greater than zero, the first derivative is negative. This indicates that the function f of x is increasing, again, where the first derivative is positive, which would be the open interval from negative infinity to negative four, union the open interval from negative two to zero, and f of x is decreasing, where the first derivative is negative, which is over the open interval from negative four to negative two, union the open interval from zero to infinity. I hope you found this helpful.